Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. I'm of course your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue to attempt to help the Chinese out, as well as help the Republican Spaniards, which are doing fairly okay. So right now, I have readjusted some of my lines both here in Spain, as well as Asia. But I just want to make a quick look, see, and see if I can help us push through this little tile to get to Barcelona. Because that would be really good for our lines. But if we can't push through here, well then, we'll push we'll push through some somewhere else. So doesn't look look like we're really winning. Go ahead and stop the attacks for now. We'll reform ourselves and come back over there in a little bit. Also, I am currently doing a world revolution, which will be a lot of fun. Uh, less sub subversive activities cost, as well as guaranteed cost, and everyone in the world who's not communist will get more communist influence. For an entire freaking year. I love it. Right now I am attacking this province down here. I do want to cut off Japanese if at all possible. I don't really know if we're actually going to be able to help out the Chinese that much. But it's always worth a try because right now we want to export the revolution. But if we try to go to war with anybody, that isn't going to work out for us very well. Now, because of the way the game's set up and the way we have our faction set up. Ooh, what is this? Work. Trotsky, I never tip, nice. Um, the only way we can change our faction name if we want to in the future is by only having puppets within the faction. So I'm probably going to have to declare war on Mongolia and as well as Tenutuva eventually. But I kind of have them as a core state anyway, so... Take 60 days. I can move all my guys bordering Manchuria or Manchuko. Take out Tenutuva that way. Uh, actually, let's not do that. I'll do that a little later just because... We are currently helping out the Republicans. Because even though we're not fighting the Nationalists, our soldiers or our planes are still doing a great job in the air. So I don't want to get rid of those guys. Our guys are definitely needed. And over here, this is just a mess. It's a giant mess. I think Japan's really going to win in the end, which is really unfortunate. Oh, the molotov ribbentrop Pact. The German Foreign Ministry has proposed a non-aggression pact between our two nations. This treaty will greatly incre increase our mutual trade, and an additional secret protocol suggests the division of Eastern Europe into German and Soviet spheres. While the fascists in Berlin may not be trustworthy, this pact will allow us to deal with Finland, the Baltic states, and Romania without fear of outside interference. The Eastern territories of Poland will also befall us in the event of a Polish collapse. If we do that, we get claims. We cannot do closed economy. We can't go to war with Germany for two years. But we'll become a little bit more friendly. I think that's a great idea. The Polish state was a mistake. An absolute mistake. And we can... Whatever we do, that is our goal to take... rid, or Get rid of the Polish state and integrate the Poles into our alliance. Yes. Yes. Because they're the they're, they're workers, you know? We're, we're Leon Trotsky. We're Trotsky daddy. And this will definitely help the revolution out in the long run. If we can take out the Poles. Alright, so you guys... Ah, oh, there we go. A toast to our new German friends. Cool. Actually, I'm probably going to attack this area next when our guys are all ready to attack. Because within our light tank divisions, we also have a few heavy tanks. Very cool. I'll just go in. Uh, we did not win here. Maybe? Yes? No? We'll just take all the territory we can. Nice. Okay, then. And... You come down here. You come over here and take, help take the rest of the territory. Oh, we have enough to modify our government. Old guard, less army XP gain, but more political power. Well, I already get 1.59 a day. That's pretty good. Over here... Ooh, infantry specialist. Attack and defense. Or recovery rate. Well, what do we have here? Oh, uh, concealment, we can't do that one. Armor, we can't do that one. Combat training, close air support. It looks like this is the best we can really do. And since our divisions already are in the field, I kind of don't mind doing this. Yeah, no more defense, no more attack. Not going to hurt us. Hopefully. Hopefully. Cool. I really don't want the Japanese to be linked up, so that's why I'm going to keep my soldiers over here. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to extend this front line just a tad bit. If you can, you can move around if you need to. I want you to come down here. Let's go back over to Spain. Hispania. All right, looks like our guys are pretty well poised to strike. Since you can't move over there, you're going to stop. 
Let's see, so we're having all four of our divisions with air support attack five enemy Spanish divisions, which is not bad, not bad. I want to give you guys a little bit of a force attack boost. It doesn't cost very much for us. And they cannot pierce our armor, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. It does give us a little bit more army XP. We have a lot of air XP and quite a bit of naval XP. Oh, oh no! No! <laughs> Why? No, they got rid of... No, they got rid of one of my sets of volunteers that I gave to China. Uh, this is on historical, too. Zaibi San Ma decided to take over China. Why? Why? Guys, guys, look at the manpower. You're going to lose all that. Guys, you screwed it up. Well, China's officially dead pretty much at this point, then. That's pretty bad. Uh, well, since we can't guard that side... Um, this is on historical. This doesn't make sense. What, what focus did you take? Join the Republican government, and then... You do not do power struggle. Zai B. Sanma is not AI controlled. God dang it. Oh, God. Well, trying to help out the Chinese was a mistake. Well, not really a mistake. We still got some army XP, which is not bad, which is pretty good. But, guys, why? Ah, oh, this AI. Love it. Love it to death. Oh, nice. But at least we're winning in Spain. Oh, we actually made an encirclement. So you guys push in. They should not be able to pierce you at all. And that's actually pretty good. We're going to at least help one of the countries that has been affected by the fascist powers, because National Spain is a fascist, as well as Japan in this game. Uh, let's see, it's 1939. Happy 1939, everyone. What we want, though, right now is construction speed, because, my gosh, we gotta keep building up, 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 up. Because our industrial power is okay, our military power is okay, it's not great. Do that. That looks pretty okay for now. Good, good, good. We only have 145 factories, so we really gotta kick things up a notch. And if we can get Republican Spain in our alliance... That would definitely help us out quite a bit. In the long run. I might have to betray them someday, but you know, whatever. Just to make them our puppet. Awesome. Good job, guys. Good job. If you can help out and take Zaragoza, that would be a lot of fun. Since these guys are defending, we help attack. And we've got a couple of our divisions back home. Alright, uh, Vasily Chuekov, you did a great freaking job. You really did. Uh, you know, I'm gonna actually just add you over here, but I'm gonna replace you with with Vasily, because he's got so much more experience now, he's totally worth using. Awesome. World Revolution is done. World Tension has increased to 40-some percent, I think? Maybe 41 percent? Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we can do State of Perpetual Warfare, which gives us quite a bit more political power. Justify War Gold Time goes way down, but Justify, justify War Gold Time on us goes way up. Or it goes way down as well. Hmm. Actually, let's not do that until we go to war with the, maybe the Germans someday, because they might have to manually justify on us instead of using a focus. But regardless, more daily political power gain. Localize quality control. Recalibrate industries. That takes 35 days. That's 70 days. These are all good. But I like that, but we, there's other options we can also take. Some of these are really important, like invest in engineering. We can get uh, more industrial electronic speed and more production efficiency cap. Industrial focuses will now gain industrial push national spirit as an additional effect, which gives you even more construction speed. It takes 100 days. We could get more rubber construction technology or just some steel improvements for assembly line production. Now, which one is that? Assembly line production, advanced machine tools. Oh, that's a 1941 stuff. Hmm. Hmm. See, infrastructure is pretty good. A little bit more uh, oil, chromium, steel. Transformation of nature. Uh, oil concerns. We're okay with oil for now, obviously. Forced urbanization is not bad. You get more factories in the state. A little less stability, but whatever. Socialist science sounds like a fun thing to do. Let's go ahead and... You know, let's do this one. We get more construction speed, and I like that. And faster research speeds. Cool. So, basically, China's dead. Because I only have three volunteers to send them. And these are the communist Chinese I sent. Because Zaibi Sanma, they can't hold this all by themselves. There's no way in the world they can. And you know what? Since we got three divisions, I'll put you over here, too. So... 
And yeah, make your way over there. Leon Thraski has called for a world revolution. Communists everywhere to chain, unchain themselves and overthrow the capitalist governments around the world, taking up arms, and the Russian SFSR struggle to bring about world revolution. Uh, one thing I'm going to think about is that Venezuela, they're fascist. They're probably going to join the Axis eventually. Ah, uh, yes, commenter influence. But I wish there was a button to see, like, who currently has the most communist influence. Oh, Paraguay. Oh, communist influence. Oh, they're communist already. Oh, I love that. Hmm. Because I really want... I'm going to need some sort of ally here. Ooh, Mexico is fascist. Some sort of ally I can begin to invade South America eventually. Now, I'm thinking Cuba. But, we might have to wait on that. Oh, the USA also has some communist influence. I like that. Could I spawn a civil war in the United States? The coup stability of a receiving nation should be lower than 80%. It's currently 89%. If you continue to lower their stability through less party popularity support, that could work. We could try. It only costs 0 .08 a day. We got enough political power. Sure, why not? We'll coup the United States. See what happens. If they join us, they join us. If they don't join us, well, then they don't join us. Oh, send the tanks in to help out, too. Screw it. Help these guys out. Oh, they really want to defend this place. They have six divisions there now. No. Oh. And some of our guys are not feeling so good right now about that. Six divisions, yeah, we're not doing really that well. So go ahead and pause that, whatever. That's fine. Uh, send the infantry division, go that way. These guys probably need some help. And... Uh, I'm clicking some buttons on my keyboard to see... Oh, oh these are our allies' plans. <clears throat> For some reason, we couldn't see how many enemy divisions were on screen there. Alright, well, whatever. I think... For the moment, the Republicans should be able to at least hold the line. Let's go that way. Let's do that. Can we actually break through here? Because their tanks are pretty good. If we led the charge, we'd be... Okay, let's take it, try to take Zaragoza first. And then if Zaragoza doesn't work, or if it does work, we're going to start cutting off little pieces of the enemy nation, which will be great. Oh, look at those divisions. They're so strong. Oh, I love it. Yeah, this looks like we're actually winning. The Republicans are actually pushing back while I give up on the Chinese. Wow. Um, they're just going to hold for now. Just, if you have to retreat, you have to retreat, you know. Integrated support. I love it. Great. More soft attack, more organization. Well, we're just going to keep doing land doctrines if we can. Nice. Uh, I only need really, like, two of you, so... Come here. Does anyone else need more armies on this side of the world? No, we don't. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, god dang it. One, two, three. Come over here. One, two, three. Come over here. One, two. Uh, for right now, um, there's really no good place to put you all. I'm going to have, like, some sort of defensive bad, really terrible defensive line like that. There you go. And you all, Nikolai Valut, Vatutin, Vatutin. Ooh, do we have someone else here? Oh, Army Moralist. And eh, we can save our political power. <clears throat> world Revolution. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's get Zaragoza. Can I put any more planes over National Spain? No, we lost one. Well, that sucks. Nice. Engineer Company 2 is done. <clears throat> Let's get Dispersed Industry 3. Maybe have a little bit more coffee. Maybe, maybe not. Good, good, good. Industry is looking pretty nice. Ah, very good. Coffee is a great thing to have. It is 1939, so we do have to watch what's going on in the world. We have Zaragoza. And now we're going to try something a little different. Uh, I'm going to keep bringing it up, but having all these old songs play, I don't even know what they're called, but having them play in the background is just so great. I oh, love it. Anyways, everyone come to Zaragoza, and those that are there right now, try to get across the river as fast as you can. Great. Get that motorized and cut off the northern portion of this part of Spain. Good, good, good. And actually, they're going to need some help, so you probably come up here too. 
Give up on the Chinese, you say? Yeah, exactly. I gave up on them because the AI, the Chinese AI, became stupid and didn't want to <clears throat> hold its own or give up or get taken out by a puppet or a warlord, I guess, in this case. Unfortunate. Oh, good. We split them up. Awesome. We split them up. If we can't help some people, we can help as many as we can possibly can. Do that. These guys will get crushed inwards from the Republicans, which would really help balance out more of this civil war. Oh, baby, why are you attacking me like crazy? What have we ever done to you? Yeah, just keep attacking me, though, because you're probably panicking and running out of supplies. Uh, oh, missing production equipment. Medium. Oh, we're out of medium bombers. I'm not even making any medium bombers. Torpedo bombers, heavy fighters. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah, we definitely need some medium bombers. We definitely need more guns. Yeah, we definitely extremely need more guns. Take me, go oh, give me two, three. We have enough artillery at the moment. That's that'll be good. At least that's a little something, something. Battlefield concentration. Uh, we have better. We're making better guns. We have already really good artillery. Uh, we have to wait till 1941 to get the next heavy tank, the KV-1, which I heard was really fun to use in the war. I really don't know. Never played water tanks. But anyways, uh, 1939. Oh, atomic research. Ooh, research speed plus 10%. Oh yeah, baby. Let's get started on that. We got an extra tank here. Go ahead and take that. Pro go ahead and go take these people out. Oh yeah, they're just melting. Oh goodness. Oh yes, we got another airfield. Love it. Just push them in. They've got nowhere to run. Great. We actually, we actually did something. Love it. Cool. And from right now, what we're gonna do in Spain, Hispaniola is a slow push against direct enemy divisions. I mean, for us to win, to ha at least have a good time. That's really what I want. What I want to have is a good time, because who doesn't want to have a good time? Is just push the enemies. Just push them as hard as you can until they break down. I'm not going to make a joke about that that I just thought of, so no. Yeah, that would have been a really terrible joke to say. Anyways, beyond that, let's see. You guys, you need this support equipment we just lost all that support equipment god dang it that's all right we didn't need more divisions right we don't need more support equipment right oh no um you know what i'm not gonna put the newest rifles on just yet uh heavy fighters put this above that production oh oh my goodness we need to make way more military factories do that do that that looks okay for now. Just make as many factories as you possibly can. And if we can push in somewhere, that would be absolutely delightful. And let's see. Stockpile right now. Light tanks are good. Heavy tanks aren't bad. We could probably swap out one of our light tank divisions. Or battalions, I mean. Wait, we would actually get less soft attack? We would lose 1.2 soft attack. Get a little bit more armor. That's not worth it. We get a little bit more armor. Slightly more piercing. A little more defense, and a little bit more heart attack. That honestly is not worth it. Yeah, that's really not worth it. Holy cow. Anyways, uh, take you and take you. Push in this way. Take you as well. They can't pierce through these light tanks anyway, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter. 1.34, boosting ideology in the United States. Oh, becoming quite communist, I see. 9%. Oh, yes, Fair Labor Standards Act. That's, oh, that's good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, just please go down to desegregation of the armed forces, United States. But anyways, we have the means, which is pretty good. I want to get some more supply consumption, factory output, and then construction speed, which will be extremely useful for us. Very, very useful. It is 1939. Hmm... Armor, I mean, these tanks are okay. I really want the KV-1s, though. Support companies. Oh, let's do this one first, though. Because we could use a higher production efficiency cap. Cool. Yeah, just, just slowly push people in. You know, they want to be pushed in. They want to be bullied around. Especially if they can't bully around tanks. Oh, look at that. 42, 43. I'm completely ignoring the Chinese front. 
Oh, maybe not. I mean, they're holding. I mean, that's really my goal here is just to hold, get more army XP, which is doing pretty well. Boris Shapshonishnikov. Oh, the Polish-Romanian alliance. Uh, they think that will save them? Well, you're still part of the Axis, and you are guaranteeing the independence of Poland, while Poland is now in the Allies. Um, this isn't looking good for a lot of people. Huh. Hmm. Well then. We'll see if Romania stays in the alliance or the faction called the Axis or not. That'll be very interesting to see what they do. Oh, we have a lot of political power. Great. I do want more stability, but that can wait for a while. Hmm. Socialist education and the Iranian Communist Authority sounds like a good idea. We could use a little bit more manpower. But... Military staff. Uh, we have army driller. Defense isn't bad. Old guard, of course, and division speed. Industrial concerns. I mean, this is all right. Really? Mm, let's see. More armor and heart attack. Speed and reliability. I like the reliability a lot. And this gives you reliability and soft attack. But more max speed. Plus 5% for a 5 kilometer per hour. Heavy tank? That's almost nothing. But I like the reliability. Uh, let's see, it's almost 19... It'll be 1940 next year. So we could do infantry equipment stuff, but... Mm, I'm thinking not. Industrial concerns. How about down here? What is this? Lessons of history. Let's see. Justify war goal time gets even lower. Oh, this gets even much lower, but we lose political power. I don't want to do these ones yet. And for these, you can do limited rights for women... More population, but can cost more consumer goods. Or total equality, which will kill off a lot of consumer goods, which we actually really need right now. Ship designer could be really good. I mean, all these could be really good. Mm. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do industrial research speed, just because I'm going to use industry a whole lot. And maybe we could maybe focus more a little bit more on decisions next, like... Institute press censorship and improve record conditions. That'll probably be useful. Actually, that will be useful. You guys, since the Spanish are helping us out, just keep pushing against those pesky nationalist divisions. Take a quick look at China. We are holding strong in this part of China. Mm. Whenever you have coffee, always remember, kids. Wash out your mouth, because it can stain your teeth. Anyways, uh, light tank division... Eh. Just, I mean, there's really nothing we can do. We're just... Hold, hold, hold. Ooh, Japanese provocation at our border as part of maintaining the demarcation line on the border between us and Japan. A work party was sent out to check the demarcation markers near Lake Kasan. When approaching the border, the work party was taken under fire by a local Japanese outpost. We have lodged a formal diplomatic protest, but the Japanese ambassador maintains that the work party was sent to move the markers to allow us to claim more territory. The Japanese have assured us that they will respect the border but will not allow any tampering with the current demarcation and will respond with force should we attempt to do so this effectively means we can no longer move freely about our territory and the territory in the area absolutely unacceptable something tells me you're not really ready to fight me just yet japan uh how oh my goodness we still need so much more infantry equipment and support equipment hmm how are the factories oh yeah don't, don't worry about too much about that about the uh infrastructure stuff yet just keep just keep doing factory stuff. Oh, 6D. I love it. Do that. Uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, invest in engineering. Great. Nice. Force urbanization, which will give you monthly population and max factories in a state, which is good. Less stability, unfortunately, for about a year. And the construction speed increase for 30 days, as well as factory output. Socialist science is pretty good, too. Hmm. Construction speed, steel imports. Well, our steel's okay. We got quite a bit of steel. Develop the Ural Mountains, more infrastructure. Develop Siberian industry. I need more military factories, so actually, let's do that one. Wait. Oh, wait. Uh, effects have not completed within 26 days. If the effects are lost, Japan will get armor and land doctrine. Clash between our border guards and the Japanese soldiers at the shared border in Korea. So we have to put more soldiers down here. So go ahead. 
And where are you? You are right. You know what? Take. Ooh, you guys are not very good. Actually, do this. Send every division you have. Well, send you down here. That's basically what you have to do anyway, so. Go ahead and do that just in case. Hopefully, within a little less than a month, we can actually do that. And we are still trying to push this direction, so let's stop because our tanks are getting kind of hurt. Oh man, they're veterans, though. Oh wow. Now they need 11 more support equipment. Pretty typical. Guns are doing better. Support equipment is doing a little bit better. Alright. And, yeah, the Nationalists are pretty much on the defensive, it really looks like. We will attack here again, though. We definitely will. Let's see. I don't want to attack over a river, but can you get down here? Oh, you can. Two divisions. Alright. Oh, construction three is done. Great. Fuel from refineries. Resource efficiency gains. I love it, but I don't really need it. Ah, do some recon, because we can. Yeah, it sounds like fun. No one's... Oh, wait, maybe we're winning now. Maybe we're winning to break across the river. Great. I like it. Still can't pierce us. We do not have air superiority. Huh, what happened? What happened here? Fighters, are you doing okay? Hmm, interesting. Now we don't have air superiority, which is a little different than normal. For now, I think the Republicans really have it up there. I want to try to cut these guys off. Put everyone here, and then cut these these guys off. Go ahead and, if you can, go that direction, if you please. See what happens. Yeah, they still have air superiority. Japanese defeat. Nice. Following the clash between Soviet and Japanese forces in the border area around Lake Kasan, Japanese ambassador in Moscow has requested a ceasefire. Several Japanese assaults on Soviet positions failed with heavy casualties during the battle. Awesome. And several Japanese assaults. Yeah. And raising concerns in Japanese military about the capabilities of their forces. Ah, a victory for the proletariat. Um, what happened to my other divisions? Oh. Okay. Well, whatever. Cool. Great. Keep doing that. And let's make sure that you... Come here. Oh, wait, we can't do that. God dang it. That's right. And no longer gets effects from industrial push, so be it. Not bad, not bad. We only have 158 factories, so that's why I'm really not trying to get into any sort of early war. It looks like no one's really winning this. So, if no one's winning, just tell them to win harder. Look at these veterans, love it. You guys are planning. Oh, nice, we won. Love it. Cool, cool, cool. And then we'll take these three divisions and attack this way as well. Oh, the Germans are down there. Hmm. You guys are almost ready. Go ahead and push again. So we can surround these guys. Nice, they're surrounded. Take these two divisions, attack this way. And we have something... Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, it's not done yet. Japanese provocation within the day. I guess we're still having a land border crisis. So be it. Didn't really expect that. All right, then. Good enough. Disperse industry. Awesome. Mm. Fuel from gain. Fuel from refineries. We can do those later. Uh, let's do that. Because we still have the air XP for now. Great, great, great. Oh, wait, they are no longer encircled. God dang it. Let's go ahead and hold. Can you pierce these guys? That's an infantry division. Oh, did they add another one? Oh, they added another national Spaniard division over there. God dang it. Hold on, guys. Hold on now. If we want to attack, we must be successful, right? Let's attack this area down here next. Nice. Just a company two is done. Infantry stuff. I have Mountaineers, we must get better, better Mountaineers. Uh, they are attacking us, which is whatever, you know. Take this guy out. If you can take this guy out, then this division will have to die. Good, good, good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Send you down here to immediately attack. Defend, attack, defend and attack, attack and defend. These guys are getting really experienced. I love it. Send the tanks this way too. Push them in. Nice. How many divisions are here? We got five enemy divisions. Great. Great, great, great. 163 factories. And it looks like the Nationalists are really on the defensive now. Couldn't ask for anything better. And they have 
how many you guys? They have nine divisions over here. Nice. Juan Yagui Blanco is not gonna like the results of this battle. Oh baby. I told you we could win the Spanish Civil War as the Soviets. Not too, no problem. Awesome. And we just developed Siberian industry, four more military factories, and a little bit more construction speed and factory output for the next couple days. If we help develop Vladivostok, we get two more civilian factories, two more military factories, and an added infrastructure. Love it. Or we do social science. Well, that doesn't help me with any more science. That just gives me more population and factory output. So let's do that first. Take a look at how this is going. Guns are doing much better as well as support equipment. Do that. I'll probably take all these guns off eventually. It's fine. Just push a German poop in. Just push them in if you can. Three divisions. Oh, man. If you need help attack across the river, I will end the episode very soon. I just want to see how far we can get. And nice. Nice, 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 nice. Advanced machine tools. Great. Um, we're doing that. Naval doctrine. Sounds good. ET. Let's go ahead. Oh, we got a bonus. Is this for land doctrine? It is for land doctrine. I don't want to spend any land doctrine points for this stuff. So, it's 1939. Leg infantry recovery rates, call it acclimatization factor. Uh, I like reco faster recovery rate. Sounds like a fun thing to do, right? Yeah, I think so. Poland refuses German ultimatum. Germany has ignored every warning, and that sounds like a good place to stop. It's only July 19th, 1939. Excuse me. But I think that's where we're going to leave it here for today. Uh, what have we done? Well, we've basically given up in China. We're just now defending for the Chinese lives. What the... What happened to Zaibi San Ma? Now it's just Yunnan? Oh my goodness, Jesus. No wonder we're going to lose a war in China. Anyways, uh, we did that. We are actually helping the Republicans go on the offensive and push back the enemies within the Spanish Civil War. And we're making pretty much every country in the world more and more communist with the United States already. 23% communist, which is amazing. Uh, forced con Quebec conscription. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow. You're not becoming more communist. What the heck? As we will hopefully win the Spanish Civil War for a Republican Spain. Thank you very much for watching.